Hey guys, today we are going to look at another card game. I went to Memorial Day with my friend and we saw a lot of this. He bought out, I think, the remaining stock. There were 50 in stock at the Barnes & Nobles at the local mall. We probably could have gone to other Barnes & Nobles. It looks like most of them have this deal where it's like really cheap. It's $3. And you can see that it was uh, $29.99, but it was like $3. And then you buy one and you get one for a dollar. So we went to this, we went to one Barnes and Noble, but I'm pretty sure all of them have this type of discount for the type of card game. Um, the re they, had a, they had another card game here as well. Uh, I do not remember, it was like Keystone or something like Key Forge, like something like that. Maybe it was like the second edition, <laughs> I don't know if it was. But these are first editions and they are $29.99 retail. So they are by our good friend, Richard Garfield. I'm gonna try to see how many stickers they put on. Oh, wow, so they've tried to put the $10 sticker. Okay. You can see they had it at $10, then they had it at $3. So they couldn't sell it for $10, so they decided to sell it for $3. So let's go ahead and let Stone Fusion. So again, is this a super valuable item? Probably not. But who else is going to open this type of stuff? So we get four decks. New two fraction decks are the same. Combine any two to play. This kit contains up to six different playable. Wow. Six? Really? Uh, it has 15,000 unique cards. No. 15,000 unique cards? Okay, so you get uh, 128 cards. Each deck is 31 cards. You get Aloyne, a Necreon, and Temps. And this is Richard Garfield, in case you don't know who Richard Garfield is. He made Magic the Gathering. All right. <laughs> there are 15,000. Oh, wow. Okay. So they're just th these decks. Mega Gizmo. Is that Arrogant Razor Blade? Okay. I have a lot of Mega Gizmos. I'm not sure what that means. It is two to plus players, 30 minutes. Oh, it's basically Magic the Gathering. Arrogant Razor Tooth, Druid's Chant, uh, Aegis Wings, Zombie Brute, and Blood Fang. These are much smaller than Magic the Gathering. They're kind of like, I don't even know. They might be smaller than Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and open the second box. See if there's anything different. Spell Swarm, Zombie Brute, Camouflage, Flame Jet, Maybe this would be fun. I mean, for this whole thing cost me $8, like $8. And my friend thought it was kind of fun. So we bought the rest of it because at $2, that's less than, oh, that's, that's very little. I mean, at $30 retail, $2. Chongress, Arrogant Worm. Now, again, I don't know if any of these are actually... The Queens of Unique Style. So the, are these the decks? Oak Fodder. A lot of Oak Fodder. I mean, it's really weird that they're like all the same cards. I'm gonna open some obviously, but I wanna see. No angels. Oh okay, here, we have more of the same. Spell Swarm, Oak Fodder, A4 Oracle. The Great Reprimanding People. The Trouble. The Chilling, Maximius, Blinking Eye. So this is like the um, Guild. All right, let's just open some and see what it looks like. Very cheap card game. Again, these cards do seem to be much smaller than even Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, okay. On sale. So I'm going to bite into it because... Really hard to open, by the way. Oh, here we go. So two things, I wonder if it's all the same deck. So like, it's all the same. Wow. I see why this game kind of failed. Yikes. Okay, so that is our, what is this? It's a token. 
Okay? And this is our deck. Run, but do not hide the gang of devious wrongdoing. Oh, Lyra. That's a cool card. Is this the rarity? Okay, Lyra. Raging Spirit, so Reaper. Blood Fang, this seems to be like action cards. Blood Fang, the, gang's, the gang of devious wrongdoing. So that's the Lyra again. Is this Lyra different? Yes, it's a gold Lyra. Deploy. Okay, I mean, that was interesting. I, oh, oh, this is our champion. Zimis. Soul Reap, Raging Spirit. Artwork is better than MetaZoo, that's for sure. But how much better than MetaZoo, I, I don't really know. Do we have another Zyra, Lyra here? Oh, we do. So we do. we definitely have like different versions of Zyra. So, interesting enough. The Gang of Devious Wrongdoing. Seri, Army, Ad Minion, Zombie. I'm guessing this is a token of some type, so this is actually not bad. A First Wing. Hopefully, okay, hopefully it goes a little easier this time to open it. Nope. Not easy to open at all. You think they would have like a rip strand, but they do not. All right, Ifris Ring Infinity Silver Outfit. Blight Steel, huh? Some of this seems kind of familiar. Synchron, right? Recycling Tinkler. Okay, there's no waifus in this set. Oh, okay, so there, it looks like it's the same cards, but with like different levels, I'm guessing. Yep, I'm guessing it's different. And here is the gizmo, mega gizmo. And here is Iron Beard, that's like our EDH commander. And yep, that is another deck that we have. So it is the Infinity Silver Outfit deck. Now, how many decks can we get? I don't know. The Stone Wardens of Green, they say. All right, let's take a look at the stone as... Really should have like a pair of scissors. Holy moly, these are like really... It's like very... This must have been... Maybe this is an old game and this is just what they did. <laughs> like imagine the guy. Can you imagine like... Yeah, you know what? Actually, this is how they wrap the alpha starters in the same exact way. It's kind of crazy, right? With today's conditioning being so important. Mega Gizmo. Nova. Okay, that's kind of cool. Druid Chant. Any waifus? No, it looks like... Oh, I mean, the artwork is better than MetaZoo, that's for sure. Kind of low. Oh, that's kind of cool. Spring Dryad, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing these are like the same cards, the same artwork, but they have like different levels. And maybe you like evolve them. I have not seen any foils yet, so that's a little alarming. So Nova, so I'm just gonna tell you Nova. So those are like EDH commanders actually. Iron Beard, this is like kind of like EDH. And those are your Planeswalkers. And then uh, Siri. Yeah, I don't like any of them so far. This guy looks kind of cool. The dinosaur. So you also get different commanders. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. But this seems like a relatively cheap game. I don't know why they were trying to sell this for $30. It seems way too expensive for this level of artwork and gameplay. Oh, look at that, Arrogant Razor Tooth. That's got to be... Oh, look at this. Pretty cool. Oh, Mystic. Not too many waifus, honestly, in this game. So, kind of... Kind of surprising. And this is our commander. So, I'm just going to really look at our commanders to see. So, in that deck, we had four different commanders. 
Uh, this deck is a, it's got the Oracle. I'm just gonna go through it really fast. Now we kind of understand what it's supposed to be. Look at the commanders. Uh, again, I'm pretty much sure this game has very little financial value. And we're, oh, Iron Beard. Oh, we have Iron Beard. Is this the same thing? The first circular of nobles. No, the Infinity Silver Outlet. This is like a different commander. So this is not the same deck. This is not the same deck, even though it does have the same commander, which is Iron Beard. So it's not the same uh, EDH, it's the same commander, but with a different deck. Interesting. Oh, you know what? It actually has, yeah, look at this. Even though Iron Beard is the same, it's two different abilities, knock back and intimidate. So this is how they're getting so many different cards, guys. Even if the commander is the same, uh, I really hate opening this. I mean, I cannot imagine in the past opening magic cards like this way. It just doesn't make sense. Like, I guess there's not that many magic cards open. It's just the way that they have sealed this product is just nonsensical nonsense. Okay. Wow. Okay. We're, we're just struggling. Abysmal slime. Okay. Any waifus? No anti waifus. Nope. No waifus. And we, oh, look, look at this one. Nyx Nakilia? Army of the Damned. Okay. I'm not even going to try to open this on camera, guys. It's just not feasible. We still have so many more decks to open. Yikes. You could have really done a better job with the quality of the wrapping. Okay, here we go. And, oh, Kindred Ranger. Okay, that's kind of a cool card. Oh, I like this card. Pax Blessing. And let's go to our commander. Our commander is Oros, which we don't have. So I'm guessing that there are a million different commanders and each commander has actually different skill sets. So even though Iron Beard, we have him twice, uh, Flame Jet, oh, I think there's a magic card called Flame Jet. Again, not gonna open on camera because kind of interesting to play. You may, if you do this, it is free. You may have this deal nine damage to you. Wow, that's a pretty good card, nine damage. I like it. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got. Sunder, okay. Cool EDH commander, flame jet, I like that card. Okay, we got some yetis, flame jets. Seems like a uh, interesting deck. All right, so we're down to our last eight. And we spent God knows how much time on this. So this is what Richard Garfield has been up to in the meantime after Magic began. Ooh, what is this? Steel Rosetta. Okay. Aegis Knight, Arrogant, and Engine Surge. Okay, here we go. And then it's just kind of a repeat. It looks like, I, I kind of understand what it is. It looks like it's the same cards and they have different levels. That is what I'm assuming hap is happening. And your commander is slightly different. So these are the booster packs that cost $30 that no one can open. Wow. They got me literally having to rip these packs open. I, I do not know why they went with this. Aragon Patron, like, this is like the biggest 18 attacker I've seen. Karee's Call, Commander Necker, Con oh, Cutthroat Banshee. The artwork is just okay. It's not Magic the Gathering, old school. Seri C, which we have, but it's got Life Drain. See, look, 
even though it's the same character, it's not. Look, wow, look, Life Drain is on top. Oh, and this one deals four damage, this one deals eight. That's actually a really cool idea that your commander is actually, even though your commander has the same exact name, your commander has the same exact name, it can actually have different abilities based on which one, which of these guilds that you pull it from. Now, I don't know if you can mix and match. That would be pretty cool. But we did have some du duplicates. And I, I think this is the token card. So here's another Sunder. This is called the Lying Highland Ward. And this is called the Yellow AJ Mountain Oaks Uncles or whatever. Oh, wow, 23. I don't know what the number means, but it's a big number. So let's take a look. So this is our Sunder. And this is our Sunder. You can see that it is slightly different. One has ice armor on top, one has ice armor on bottom. Pretty cool idea. Like what if everyone had different commanders and different abilities? Yeah, I, I think it would be interesting, right? Like you had the same commander, but you could have uh, different level level up abilities. It's not a bad idea. And then you have different decks and so on. And I haven't seen any really great artwork. Honestly, it seems kind of very simple artwork. Nova, oh, this is Nova. So a good friend, Nova. I don't know what any of this means. Stuving Ranger, oh, this looks like the same guild. Tight Cops Gathering Ladies. No, it's not the same guild. And I guess the Nova is not the same, we can see. Nova's Wrath and Nova's Dominion and Nova's Might, it's all kind of moved around, even though it's the same dude. It's moved around quite a bit. So even, even having opened what seems to be like a ton of these cards, it doesn't seem to be any duplicates. I mean, the artwork is duplicate. For sure, and the card itself might be duplicate, but each of them are from a different guild. So I wonder how difficult it would be to collect. It, on the back it says there's like 15,000 cards. I kind of believe it now. Blight Witch, okay. Blight Witch again. And here's our Nyx. Our Nyx Nakia, which is different, look. Every one of these is different. I have not received a dupe yet, which is kind of cool. So I mean, it's probably a lot different. How many thousands? I mean, let me read the back of this Nigma Jig later. It's a good idea. It's not a bad idea. It's a good idea. Or or ghosts. Um. Yep, different. He's even got a different ultimate. One is Bark Skin, and the other one's Growth Aura, right? So he's got like, sometimes they have the same named items, sometimes they don't. Arrogant Master, interesting card. Sunder again. Summon the Swarm. Yeah, that's a different ability from the other Sunders. So we got three Sunders, each Sunder being different from each other. Um, hmm. Very interesting. All right, last one. Like, I, I can tell this is a real game, that somebody actually thought about this game. Steel Rosetta. So we have another Steel Rosetta. Blight Steel. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've eaten so much plastic. So let's take a look at the back of the game. 
There are no two faction decks are the same. Combine any two. Okay, so we combine them to play. This kit contains up to six different playable deck combinations. It has 15,000 unique cards. None of them being foil. That is crazy. And four bonus cards. Oh, the bonus cards are tokens, I guess. Are they the tokens? Zombie Brute. I don't know if they're tokens or not. But overall, interesting set. Let me know what you guys think. Bye, right, guys.